It was another beautiful morning for 32-year-old Mark Piero as he got ready for a walk with his friend David. They planned to find a secret hot spring in the Christmas Island National Park. For as long as Mark could remember, he loved exploring nature. Little did he know, however, that his passion would one day lead him to this shocking discovery. Before we start, can we get this video to 1,000 likes? Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Mark moved to the island three years ago, adding an extra person to the population of approximately 1,400 people. Mark woke up early on another beautiful sunny day on Christmas Island. He got dressed and poured himself a nice cup of coffee. Looking forward to the fun Saturday he planned with David, he quickly ate his breakfast and left with his bag packed and in good spirits. Once Mark met David, they set out on an adventure to find the hot spring that the locals had told them about. It was about an hour into their walk when Mark first saw something blocking their path. They walked along the coastal path, which was overgrown with vegetation and trees on either side. At first, he thought it was just a big boulder, but as he got closer, the huge shape quickly ran away. That thing wasn't a rock, it was alive. Mark thought for a moment that he was hallucinating. Mark was frozen in astonishment and actually couldn't believe his own eyes. What the hell did he witness? He looked at David, who seemed completely oblivious to what had just happened. With his curiosity piqued, Mark followed the walking rock. He had to see what that thing was or if his imagination was just running wild. He started chasing the moving object. When he finally caught up with the moving boulder, he couldn't believe his eyes. He saw a large boulder-like shield rising above the foliage. His striking colors were like nothing he'd ever seen before. The creature looked like a crab, but Mark knew this was no ordinary crab. His shield was an enchanting display of all kinds of beautiful colors. Mark crawled closer and closer until he was right next to the creature. With amazement, he saw small sharp spines along the legs and knew it. Mark's eyes sprang open as he realized what he might have found. The prehistoric crab dates back to 95 million years ago. Mark remembered reading about their extinction when he was younger, but more importantly, he also remembered their strange features. Mark looked at the crab again, noting its massive size, curved claws, its large, socketless eyes, and its paw-like mouth. His heart began to pound as he realized what he had just discovered. In 2019, scientists in America discovered a fossil of this prehistoric crab. The species is called Calichimera perplexa, which translates to stunningly beautiful chimera. Because of the vivid colors and unique appearance of this animal, Mark immediately pulled out his phone to take a picture of it. Did he really witness the reappearance of a lost species? What he did next would shock the world. Quickly, Mark picked up the giant crab with his bare hands and posed with the mysterious creature that seemed so gentle all along, but Mark had no idea what he was dealing with. He was sure he had discovered a long-lost species, if not the ancient Calichimera perplexa, and he immediately called the National Park Center. Then the interest in this beast really started to take off. Crab expert Max Orchard has spent more than 22 years working in Christmas Island National Park with researchers who are global leaders in the variety of crabs found on Christmas Island. Christmas Island was something of an anomaly when it came to the many different species of crabs that lived there. Because of his profession, Orchard knew that it was possible that it was an extinct species. Through species revivalism, a process by which scientists can generate an organism that either resembles or is the extinct species, he set out to find out. If this wasn't a case of extinction, Mark would have found a rare and endangered species. Mark hung up the phone and posted his photo online with the caption, Does anyone know what this animal is? While he was typing, David started to yell at him nervously, and Mark stopped typing to hear what his friend was yelling. Don't move, dude, David choked. Confused by his reaction, Mark looked around. He quickly saw the cause of David's fear. Just behind his foot, another 10-foot-long claw swung. When Max Orchard arrived, Mark pointed out the creatures resting next to him. The two animals were very gentle, and it was wonderful to see them in their natural environment. With a smile, Max Orchard told Mark he knew exactly what they were. They were coconut crabs, a species of crab that has lived on Christmas Island for decades. Mark picked one up and asked, 
are they dangerous? The largest I've seen weighs about 4.5 kilograms and is about 3 feet in diameter, Orchard said. No one really knows for sure how old they are. The 2 to 3 kilograms crabs are about 50 years old. Orchard told him they have a tendency to steal. He pointed to his phone, which was now firmly in the clutches of one of the crabs. Mark secretly had to laugh a lot at the theft of the animal. Gently, Orchard took his phone from the humble thief and explained their strange behavior to steal and crush everything that unfortunate locals and tourists left behind. There have been a number of reports of these crabs stealing shoes and cameras from tourists and from locals. This peculiar behavior becomes especially funny once you learn what their age is. Coconut crabs are not only the largest crabs on land, but they also live the longest. They can easily live to be 120 years old. So it's very likely that the crab Mark picked up was older than himself. Although they are not dangerous, their claws can do some damage. It is always wise to be respectful with wild animals, and picking them up is not something animals like. He wondered why the locals hadn't told him to watch out for them. When he asked about it, they said they wanted him to learn more about the island for himself. It didn't take long for Mark's post about his exciting find to get a lot of attention online. Mark's photo of the mysterious and unique beast caused quite a stir online. If you don't live on Christmas Island or have no interest in crabs, you would never have guessed what kind of animal Mark was holding. Many believe, like Mark, that he had found a completely new species, although aren't all animals rare and special. And it sure is a nice story for Mark to tell his friends and family.